So I'm going to say this again because it needs to be said, uh, but you are not a real software development engineer if you're not using a code versioning system of some kind. If you don't know how to use Git, if you don't know how to pull a repository, start a new one, push it to master, whatever, like then you're not a real software development engineer. And the fact is, it's okay to not understand how Git merge works. Like I've worked with plenty of developers that just don't want to mess with it. And uh, I get that, but it's better to know it. And if you don't even know how to do a simple Git pull, or if you're not, you know, actually using it regularly, then I'm going to think less of you. And so is your entire team. And so is any company that wants to look at you for a job. The fact is, you look at my screen here, and I've just been doing nothing but polling because I've been working on another system. So I've been working on the same code base using multiple bits of hardware, checking into Git, pulling it as needed, doing a modification on one system, pushing that to master or main or whatever you want to call it, then on this other system, pulling it, making sure it works, this is part of my QA process. And so you should understand that if you don't understand any of the ability to just pull and push, get stuff, then you don't know what you're doing. And it's that simple. Git is the de facto standard now. Yes, there's... Some older, older companies that don't know what they're doing will still use things like TFS that don't use Git. Uh, modern companies that use all that infrastructure with TFS are going to be using Git-based TFS. And yeah, there are people out there who still use subversion. And yeah, there are probably going to be people out there who are going to be using Perforce. You're going to be in a situation where you're, instead of looking at a branch, you know, you're going to be looking at a number. And that's better than nothing. But at the end of the day, you need to use Git. You need to be able to get comfortable with it. You need to be able to just pull up, Git pull, Git push, Git push origin, whatever. You need to be able to do this or you're not going to be considered worth people's time. And I say this because I just I just saw somebody and I'm not going to bully them by, by showing their comment saying that Git was worthless and it wasn't useful to them as a software development engineer. They were clearly trolling. And so if you hear somebody say this, they're messing with you, they're trolling you, and they're trying to bully you. Don't listen to them. You need to learn Git, and you need to be able to learn the basics of Git. And if you don't know that, and you can't do that, then you're not a software development engineer. This is not me gatekeeping. This is not me trying to create some arbitrary standard. This is just if you're competent or not. And you have to be competent if you expect to get a job.